So in this video I am going to give you a walkthrough of the privacy settings as well as general settings inside Facebook how you have to change in order to have a safe browsing experience. They have given more control to the users now for us. Uh, let's say we share a picture or post or even we share some video on our Facebook how you have to control it. So all that can be done inside Facebook settings. That's what I am going to show you. If this kind of video interests you let me know in the comment section down below and hit that like button and do share it with your friends so that they also know how to change the settings and what are the things they need to change in order to have that safe browsing experience all right guys without wasting any more time let's look at the privacy settings that you need to change so the first thing what you want to do is to go to three stripes here just tap on this one and you'll be able to see your saved stuff and if you scroll all the way down you'll see settings and privacy this is where everything you have to change and you can take control of your posts and even all the things that you share on Facebook so the first thing we'll go to settings here this is where you will find everything that you want to change. The first one is personal information as you guys know, uh, language payments. So the first thing that you want to do is to go to security and login and here you will be able to see who has logged into your device and from where which is really helpful. That's what you are seeing here when you are logged in and there is this choose friends to contact if you are locked out. That means if you forget your password or let's say uh, someone has hacked your account and you are not able to log into your own account. In that case what you can do is set up this uh, let's say the friends most you trust you can actually choose their contacts over here and whenever you are locked out of your account Facebook then sends them the message as well as codes and with that code you will be able to log in again and instantly change the password so this is where you choose trusted contacts uh, make sure you have at least two trusted contacts so that's what I do to my personal profile so that whenever you are locked out you will be able to log in again safely and instantly change the password the next one important most important one is use two factor authentication as you are seeing here just tap on that and say get started as you can see there are uh, two ways to log into your account one is with the google authenticator app which is available on play store so just download the google authenticator and log into it and here you'll be able to set up with qr code or the code that gives you below with this code you'll be able to authenticate using the google authenticator app so another way of uh, authentication which i highly recommend you do is to send a code to your own mobile number so it will send you a code just enter that code and confirm once so whenever next time someone tries to log into your account the code will be sent to your own mobile number then you'll be able to know that someone is trying to log into your account so that's really awesome so i always suggest you use this authentication code so this is really important this is what you need to do the next one is app passwords authorized logins so you'll get list of devices if you have logged into various other device or accounts as well so this is where you will be able to see it also the next important thing is there is get help here all the way down where you will see if you think that your account has been hacked if unusual activity on your account this is also available where you can go and tell them that your account has been hacked and they'll review and get back your account the next important thing is timeline and tagging as you are seeing here who can view your post who can post on your timeline so all that can be controlled here as you can see let's say if you want your friends to post on your timeline as well on your personal profile then you can just tap on friends otherwise if you just want to post and not your friends on your timeline then you can select only me so I highly recommend that you go through all these settings read the question properly and set according to your needs your personal preference let's say who can see what others post on your timeline let's say some friend posts uh, a picture on your timeline and tags you and who can see that only your friends or friends of friends or friends except some friends that you don't want to see so all that can be customized over here again it depends on your personal preference allow others to share your posts to their story if you don't want your friends to use your post to their story you can just turn this thing off in the same way tagging how posts tagging work you can read these questions and set i have set to this as you can see review tags that people add to your post before tag appear you can also do that uh, let's say someone is tagging you on your picture so if you want to review that you can allow by saying on only then the post gets tagged otherwise it won't get tagged with your name so all this can be done here if you want to block some person and if you have blocked some person if you want to view who you have blocked so you can go to blocking here you can also manage your location settings access your own information by category also you have access to 
to download your own information so these are the settings where you have to change in order to have a safe browsing experience i highly recommend you set up two factor authentication right now the most important thing is setting up the password how you have set your password how strong your password is so for strong password i highly recommend that you have your password with special character with alpha and numeric so your password should contain alphabets numbers as well as combination of special characters let's say 123 underscore abc and underscore or and 123 so in that sense you set your password so that it will be strong and safe enough for you in the longer term you also have the access to apps and websites here so if you have logged into other websites using facebook account you can manage and you can also see who has logged into that and when it was so all this can be done here and found on this setting so i hope this video was helpful and do share it with your friends and let them know what to change inside the facebook settings if this video helped you hit that like button share it with your friends and also don't forget to click on that subscribe button see you all in another one until then take care bye bye